Hey everybody! Today is going to be our 19th sketch. This is going to be so much fun and it's super quick and easy. So we're going to do this Mojo Monday sketch. It's number 400. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut down our sheet. And I'm going to uh, zoom out here because I wanted to show you. I actually wound up getting one of the newer Fisker cutters. And I just wanted to show you the difference in where the cutting blade is. This one doesn't have the wire because it has this, um, I guess what is that called, the titanium or whatever that bar is to keep a straight line. So I'm just going to measure at um, four and a quarter, four and a quarter, huh. five and a quarter by four. And there's our sheet that we're going to be working off of and what I'm going to do because just the one corner needs to be rounded or all four corners around it and it was right here next to me I just grabbed my envelope punch board and just curved or what is it corner chomped all four edges This one side I'm leaving till the end because I want to put down our circle first then cut it or trim it down and then uh, round our edge so I'm just putting down some uh, tape runner and I'm placing it where you know I'm thinking it's probably gonna go this is a butterfly we're gonna be using I'm just testing it to see if I left enough room all right, and then I'm just going to turn it over and literally just grab my scissors. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit closer, and all I'm going to do is cut along that edge. Very simple, very easy, but it just shows you, you know, that's how you can get that similar image that's on the um, actual sketch and I'm just peeling this back a little bit so I can just add a little bit more tape because there was a section of the paper that didn't get any uh, glue. So now that we have this is the base this is like the card is like basically done we're just going to corner edge round that bottom edge there so that way all four edges are the same and then with the butterfly, I was grabbing my um, one of, I think it's Amy R's sentiment steps or stamp sets that she did with CC Designs, and it has a great thinking of you stamp in it. So to get it straight, I'm just bringing out my stamp of jig and I'm really not lining it up r right away. I just need to ink it up and then set up my stamp on the jig itself making sure that the clear plastic is right in that corner there so that way when I bring my stamp down and back up when I go to line it up on my sheet here just trying to make sure I get it exactly where I want it I had just enough space right here at the bottom. I reline up our plastic piece with our stamp-a-ma-jig piece. Once we got it, we move the plastic out of the way and then it's just straight down and then back up. And it lands just where, you know, we want it. Just where that plastic piece was laying. It's an oldie but goodie, people. I'm telling you, if you don't have one, get you a stamp of a jig. It doesn't hurt to have, and you can have it and the Misty tool, and it'll work great at, you know, different times. When you don't want to pull out the Misty, the stamp of a jig will always work. Now, with this butterfly that I'm going to use, I decided to just um, use what is that multi-medium multi matte medium by Ranger just gluing down in the center and on the antennas 
and that's what I'm going to use to glue them down. And then I was thinking, you know, this really, the card could have been done right here. Um, but you're going to see what we're going to do is actually use foam tape to lift it up. And then we're also going to use some gemstones to follow the line of the pattern of the paper itself. So I'm just going to take the card base, fold it in half, and use my bone folder to make our crease. And then I'm going to get my foam tape. Because I was going to use the tape runner, but I realized I really just wanted to give it a little bit of dimension. So we're just going to grab the foam tape and then tear off pieces um, along the top, the bottom, just around it as even as possible so that way it has even coverage. Uh, this is just in my mind my way of trying to conserve it because I'm running low. Alright, we'll just take the backing off and go ahead and get those pieces or this our main piece down on the card front. And just that simple, really, the card sketch itself is done. But you can't just leave it there. I was going to do sequins, but I thought, you know what? With the way that the, the pattern and the design in the paper, I just felt like gemstones were going to be the best way to go. So I'm going to pull those out real quick and then get our pickup tool. I was going to use my scissors, but I was like, well, I just got this one, so might as well use it. So we're just going to take it to pick up the rhinestones and then lay them down in strategic places. Some of the lines I did get two on, but most of them I just have one and then I, I just moved, you know, where, where I was putting it. So that way they were staggered and I just think it wound up being, you know, just enough. one of the lines and then all the way up at the top. And the gem. Just giving a little bit of detail. And then you got the beautiful butterfly. Alright. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the card. Um, please hit the like subscribe button and please share. And I will see you guys with our next video, which will be this Tuesday coming, which will be for scrapbooking with me. We'll be doing uh, another technique. I'll probably be working with the balloon sprays. All right, you guys. Have a great weekend.